Hi, I'm Noah. And I'm Nick. And for our physics project, we chose to test ramps in Halo 3. Will Master Chief make his epic jump to save the world? Find out after the physics. Just to prove Halo 3 is based on real physics, we tested gravity. And as you can see, the barrel and the crate both fall at the same rate. We started out by building a ramp at a 30 degree angle. In our scaling, the 7 foot tall Master Chief was approximately 1 inch tall on the computer screen. We also measured the ramp to be 2.75 inches tall on the computer screen. Therefore, the ramp is 19.25 feet tall in Halo 3. We then launched a mongoose, not the kind that fights a snake, off of the ramp. We then scaled to find- Ow! Stop hitting me! We then scaled to find the length of the jump, which came out to be 59.2 feet. We then demolished our first ramp and built a bigger, even better 45 degree ramp. Using scaling, we found our 45 degree ramp to have a height of 24.89 feet. Once again, using scaling, we found the length of the jump off of the 45 degree ramp to be 54.2 feet. This may seem to go against what you expect, but we'll explain that later. Then we took on the daunting task of building a 60 degree ramp. Doing a scaling, we found our 60 degree ramp to be 29.75 feet tall. The launch off of the 60 degree ramp spanned a distance of 12.67 feet. After gathering and calculating all of our data, these are the results. Now you would probably expect the 45 degree ramp to launch the furthest, but due to the slope of the, a higher ramp slowing down the mongoose, the initial velocity is lower, therefore reducing the distance it will travel. We then calculated the initial velocity of each jump using our data to prove our conclusion. To find initial velocity, we used the displacement formula. We plugged in our numbers and solved to get 1.76 meters up. We then plugged that back in to find the initial vertical velocity, which is 5.88 meters per second up. We then use the simple V equals D over T formula to get 15.03 meters per second right. Then we use the Pythagorean theorem to get an initial velocity of 16.14 meters per second, 30 degrees north of west. We repeated this process two more times to find the initial velocity for the other two ramps. As you can see, we were correct in thinking the distances were less than expected because the higher ramps slowed down the vehicle. Now let's rejoin Master Chief to see if he makes it.
That's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, thanks. Bye.